Hello and welcome to The Sun's Fury. In this video I will show how I made this electric generator. However, don't have too many expectations because I still have to make improvements and I will talk about that in a minute. But for now I will show how I made this. So I started with the coils and for that I used 0.5 millimeter copper wire and I made some thing to wind the coil and used a counter circuit with a switch to count how many windings I have. I, I wanted to make 300 windings but uh, that turned out to be not enough. But for the size of the magnets uh, I can't do any more windings unless I make a smaller diameter or you, unless I use a smaller diameter wire. So I made the coils and uh, used a bit of glue to hold this in place. Then for the generator itself I used wood and cut this in a rectangular shape and two circles and drilled holes through them. Then I mounted ball bearings on each side of the square piece. And then I mounted the coils 180 degrees apart. Since this is a three-phase generator, I'm soldering all the wires that are on the bottom together. So we have at the end three wires. The schematic for a three-phase generator looks like this. Then on the round pieces, I glued the magnets with a north and south pole on opposite sides. And the magnets will be mounted on both sides of the coils later to have a strong magnetic field that it's going through the coil. Then I put everything together with some spacers so the magnets are not hitting the coils. So like I said, I uh, don't have a lot of expectations. I have a multimeter hooked up there and if I turn it slightly you can see I can generate like 0.1 volts if I get really fast. I can get 0.2 volts. If I make this faster, it can produce like 1.6 volts around that, but not really more. And I don't want to spin it up like super fast because it's made out of wood. And I actually had a magnet flying away when I was spinning it faster. So how do we make this better? First of all, I have only two magnets here on this wheel. And of course I can put more magnets around this. However, magnets are kind of expensive. Like if I get a lot of magnets, like I can fit, I don't know how many I can fit on here. They're kind of expensive and for such a small generator, it's not really worth it. The second thing is the coils. So the coils look like this. They're kind of small and I used and I used 0.5 millimeter wire and this was actually relatively thick and that's I, I used that because it has a pretty low resistance. I could put more windings on there but then the magnets are relatively small and you can put if you too much if you have too much windings on there you have like a so large coil that it's going out of the magnetic field and then you need larger magnets. What you could do is use like some thinner copper wire, like really thin wire, and then you can make like, I don't know, thousands, 1000 turns or something on there and still have it like in the magnetic field of the magnet. The problem with this is if you have a thinner wire, the resistance goes up. And I wanted to avoid that, so I used thicker wire, but that turned out to be not that great for such a small generator. I think the resistance is like not that important. If this has a couple ohms, like this wire has like per meter 0.34 ohms per meter. And of course, if you have like, um, I don't know, a couple hundred meters windings on there, then you have a couple of ohms resistance and then you have a loss of power. But I think if you have a low enough voltage with such a small generator, uh, you'll be fine. So that's an improvement I will make on this thing to have like a, a really thin wire 
make the coils more windings and then you can spin it slower and still get more voltage out of it so the voltage you get out of it is dependent on how fast you spin this thing and how much windings you have if you have more windings you don't have to spin it that fast all right that's it for now i hope you learned something new maybe you want to build your own small generator there's definitely a lot to try out especially with the coil dimensions and wire diameters and stuff and i will improve this thing in the future so if you want to see more projects and want this thing improved as stuff then leave a like and subscribe for more projects until next time bye